for any cold fusion component so let's get uh, let's get going with our example the first thing that we're going to do is to create a component file so I've got a new file and I'll be saving it as users.cfc so you might have uh, used the other compo uh, template files like the .cfm which we already created earlier now we're going to first uh, define all our programming logic inside this CFC file. We're not going to uh, we are not going to clutter our cold fusion template file with all the programming logics. So to keep our templates cleaner, to focus mostly on outputting our values and mostly focusing on making a, a beautiful layout. Uh, we need to separate our logics so let's not waste any more time and uh, I hope this would do the trick uh, this would do and here we go we're not going to use the CFM one right now we first need to define a component so a dot CFC means cold fusion component as you can imagine as you can actually uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is to define a component so simply a component is defined using the cold fusion component tags this component tags can take up any other uh, attributes for itself but we are not going to look into uh, including any other thing right now we are just going to focus on how to create methods and attributes inside our uh, inside our cold fusion component so there are two approaches likewise the first one is that you can create all your functions I mean all your methods and attributes inside this CF script tags and you can uh, also skip this process you can even include the CF function tag and define names and uh, define all the functionalities within those but let me first show you how to use the CF script tag and how it looks uh, how it looks when we define our methods you'll see that they are a lot similar if you're from a different programming background but if you're not familiar with any sort of programming logic it's alright just go along with me so the first thing that we need to do is to create a constructor now the constructor will uh we will use the name of uh init or initialize and we're going to use the curly braces so if you are from if you are a programmer already and you know some other languages you might have used or you might have declared properties you might have declared variables inside classes which are known as properties so those properties were defined they were, they were not defined inside a method they were defined outside a method you might have not uh, come across terms like constructors so a constructor is the starting point of any class in other programming languages and it is the similar case for cold fusion component but the main difference lies is in, but the main difference w uh, we'll be talking about and we will see is that it lies in how we declare our attributes or our variables inside components our attributes are usually stored or declared inside our constructor method they're not uh, they're, they're, they're not defined uh, they're not usually defined outside the constructor method of the uh, call fusion component so how do we define uh, or how do we declare attributes the first thing that we need to do is to use the attributes keyword that we already talked about now all the create you can create a system that can handle user names user roles user age so I'm just going to show you how to create a small coefficient component that can handle usernames user roles and maybe user age so I'm, I'm going to create a structure 
along with this attribute so to create a structure you might already have uh, some experience if you have followed along in chapter one with me then we already defined an, a new structure called users and that users is an attribute inside our coefficient component so this is a variable inside a coefficient component but we refer to it as an attribute as an attribute perhaps so if we were talking about other languages likewise as I've already told you before this would have been called as a property simply but we are not talking about any of the languages now let's define some other vari variables so we can store a name for the timing let's just keep up with uh, an empty string we just initialized a null value uh, a no, uh, an empty string with our name variable stored inside our structure and attributes users um, age and this will also be empty we're ri right now we're not going to store any sort of uh, values but we'll see how to store values safely inside our attributes inside our structure we're not going to directly use them what we are going to do is to call in other methods which are known as getter methods and setter methods to get uh, to first set the values of these variables stored inside the structure which are name age and I'll be using another one role and then we will call in a get method to retrieve their values so in that in that way we are restricting the user to use our attributes in a certain way in 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 a way that we intend them to use we are not giving them the full freedom to manipulate our um, attributes so users role and we are done with this now we're going to return this so you might even have seen uh, in cases like this public function and the function name so what I have done in here I have first I have defined several properties for our component for our uh, foundation for our plan for our design so this uh, this uh, attributes work like properties they tell us something they tell us the feature about our object that we'll be creating just for now we haven't created any sort of object so our object does not really exist this is just a plan that we are first creating so th we first design a building in a theoretical context then we go for a practical implementation or our builder then starts building that building or the structure on a piece of land uh, that he has now we are not building that structure we are just uh, defining the design at the moment